Greetings, all you knife enthusiasts from around the world. Welcome to Baxter's Blades. You're entering the Tiger Pit. Rawr! Well, yes, continuing the three-day Sodbuster Junior Madness. Got quite a few. I want to highlight them. This one is brought to you by HT's EDC. That knife life. Yes, he started this open tag, Saudi Sunday. Thank you very much, Harold. Much appreciated. Um, I did one crossroads yesterday. I'm doing this one today. And tomorrow I am doing another Sodbuster Jr. Well, the one I'm going to post tomorrow, I was mentioning how these two knives were stuck in transit and yada yada. And so uh, just be aware when you watch that one, I apparently have already got them. I just want to post them in this order. This is the Burnt Caribbean Blue Bone Corn Cob Jig Sodbuster Jr. Yes, the Sea Dragon. October 26, 2024. I cannot believe they made more. Blows my mind. Apparently I had a notification in on this knife. And the same day that they release the Crossroads exclusive, that's Smoky Mountain Knife Works, I received a notification that they had these sea dragons in. And I missed it. Let's take a look at the pile side here. Look at that burn, beautiful Caribbean bone, corn cob jig, true sharp stainless steel, brass pins, nickel silver shield, zero bolsters, brass liners, a really nice back spring, maybe a, maybe a hair gap there. I don't see any light through it. Let's check the centering. Looks pretty good. I wouldn't call it straight down Broadway. But I'd call it close enough. Uh, we do have a slight rounded tip from Polish. Blade grind looks a lot nicer than my Crossroads. Actually feels very nice and sharp. Let's look at the show side here. Nice hound's tooth or arrowhead shield. Really nice consistent burn. I had no idea I'd even get one of these. After they sold out, they're on eBay for over $200 and I just, I'm just not going for that. I didn't need one that bad. Um, but I'm really appreciate Smoky Mountain giving me a notification that they were back in stock. Again, they went really fast. I'm not sure how many they got. Um, if you know me, I love the lizard skin. And I do have a PB&J, but I'd say this looks better than my PB&J Saudi all day long. Let's get this out of the way. I do not have very many of these sea dragons. And I found it very interesting that they didn't release the Seahorse Whittler in this. They did release the Medium Toothpick, which kind of looks like a little sea dragon. Never picked that up. But the Seahorse Whittler would be a fantastic one to do, by the way, Case. I know you're not listening. I don't know how I picked up this uh, Barlow. Got a notification, couldn't order it fast enough. No, this was not my first Sea Dragon. My first was, after these sold out, they did a re-release. This is the Mini Trapper. And not a lot of burn on the jigging here on the show side, but a really nice burn on the pile side, but still not much on the jigging. And I keep talking like I could burn it, but I just like to keep it stock. I don't really want to mess it up. Really easy to overburn or underburn or not do a consistent burn. Uh, but yes, uh, these were sold out. Received a notification, boom, ordered it. 
So I have a mini trapper. And then out of the blue, I had no idea they were going to release a Barlow. I don't know if I got a notification or if I just stumbled upon it. Because I didn't think they would be releasing them. And I really like this Sea Dragon Barlow. Clip and pin. But it's about the Sodbuster Jr. This is three days of Sodbuster Madness. And I just wanted to share this. I have another one coming tomorrow. That I've already done a video on. And it will be Byron Kennedy's favorite for sure. Um, I did notice a little bit. I don't know if we can see in this light. Probably can't. Um... Backspring's really smooth. You get to the center here and it kind of crowns out a bit. It's kind of a little rounded there. I'm not sure what happened there. I have not seen a sodbuster like that. Um, it's it's no it's no worries. It's nice and polished. It's just a little bit more rounded right here. I'm not sure what was going on there. You can't see it at all. It's that unnoticeable. But I uh, just wanted to point that out. Um, and the fact that the back springs are really nice and the blade centering is just off to the show side, just a hair, not a big deal. This is a collectible knife. I will be using it. I think uh, that's pretty tight. There was, nah, it's pretty tight. Very cool. Very happy to add this to my collection. Um, if you guys want one, you know, maybe they're going to make more for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Just go to the link and you generally can put your email in there. And now they don't email you all the time when something's released. I've had that happen a few times. But generally, I'll get an email about 7, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time that uh, they have them in stock. And if I'm not too busy at work and I have a chance... I'll go in and see if I can order something. And I lucked out with this. I'm tagging Bob's Pocket Knives, of course. Uh, when the Crossroads was released, I sent him a DM. And then I'm like, I don't know if you have a Sea Dragon or not, but those are also in stock. And he was very stoked to be able to get one of these. You know, $57.99, the usual Sodbuster Junior price. Some are higher, some are lower. Uh, a great price. It beats trying to go to eBay and pay $200 for it. I'm not going to do that. I don't need one that bad. Now, if you get one from Smoky Mountain and you're unhappy with the fit and finish, you can return it and they'll give you your money back. You won't be able to exchange it for another one because they're out of stock. So, it's hit or miss. I do not live near there. I cannot just walk into the store and pick up. Beautiful Caribbean blue bone. I do have the saw cut, which is much darker. And, like I said, this was just manufactured just last month. Fairly recent. So, they're just trying to get caught up. And I know the holidays are coming. They have plenty of knives they're making all the time. I mean, heck, they're even throwing the wrong knives in the wrong boxes, apparently. Has not happened to me, but I've heard that happen to other people. So there's my three sea dragons. Be really cool to get a 75 stockman. Who knows? Maybe I'll put my notification in. Maybe they'll come back out with them. The burn, as you can see, is hit or miss. If you ever watch a video about the factory, they're just running this over a torch really fast. Try not to burn their fingers. Um, so you don't know what you're going to get. If you ever have a problem and want a better burn, eh, you might be able to send it over to AW Designs. He burns knives. You can attempt it yourself. Be careful, don't crack the bone. Thank you, all you Sodbuster Junior lovers, for joining me 
in the tiger pit. Much appreciated. Tomorrow will be another, yes, Sodbuster Jr. One that has been out for quite a while. Rumor is it's Byron Kennedy's favorite. You all stay sharp, be kind, and take chances. Take care.